at C Prime. Uh, we have Dan, Matthew, and Sneha, and they're going to talk about uh, some of the Atlassian based solutions that C Prime offers. And Matthew and Sneha, can, looks like can you. There you go. We now we can hear you. You can see my screen, you can hear my voice. Excellent. Yeah. Loud and clear. Okay. Uh, well, hey, my name is Dan Frost. I'm with an organization called C Prime, uh, and I kind of lead our partner development group. Uh, I'm going to go through this really fast because uh, Matt and Sneha have uh, are really going to show kind of the um, the heart of the uh, session here. Um, it's going to be based on kind of the Atlassian oriented uh, stage solutions. Um, before we get there, I just wanted to give you a quick snapshot of uh, of who C Prime is. Um, we're an agile and DevOps oriented systems integrator and consulting company. Um, we're about 400 people and uh, we really kind of sit in this pocket of like uh, one of Atlassian's largest partners, um, an SAI Gold SPCT partner, and also an AWS Advanced Tier Consulting partner. And uh, one of our many claims to fame is uh, we have V Ken France, uh, safe fellow, um, an extraordinary uh, human being in general uh, on staff here. Um, we've got a huge stack of technology partners. Um, and again, we kind of run the gambit from, you know, the, the kind of business and, and um, organizational patterns that you use to do the work uh, all the way down to the technology for kind of work management and build deploy, all the way down to monitoring and DevSecOps and, and uh, all the, the fun things down on that side of the continuum. Um, we are part of a, a global enterprise called Alton. Uh, it's about 34,000 engineers. Um, spread around the world, uh, but C Prime is uh, um, our, we're headquartered in uh, San Mateo, California. So, last slide, and then I'll turn it over to Matt and Sneha here. Um, we're also a platform partner, and we're a platform partner because um, of this Atlassian angle. Um, Atlassian is a you know, 40 to $50 million line of business for us. And there's so many teams out there that use it to drive their agile work at the team level, that naturally things progressed and there was, um, we helped develop solutions that would uh, scale um, the, those uh, kind of agile teams. Um, so because of that positioning between, you know, um, Atlassian and, and Scaled Agile um, and even AWS, we feel we have this um, kind of interesting position to um, help a huge amount of people um, bring safe into their organizations. Um, so with that, I want to turn it over to uh, Matt Whitless-Bach uh, just to show a little bit about um, one. We're going to show two kind of options, right? There's um, uh, one is uh, like a JIRA with uh, portfolio and structure to uh, achieve a, um, a really solid safe offering. And another is Jira Align, which is the um, uh, Atlassian recently acquired Agile Craft that closed uh, the first week of April. Um, so there's two kind of options. So Matt, um, uh, are you there? Can I turn it over to you? Paging Matt. Uh, there you I am. Might be on mute. There you are. Yep, we can hear you. Excellent. Okay, so like Dan said, I'm going to show the, uh, we'll just call it the full Atlassian-based solution. Uh, you're all familiar with the big picture, so we're not going to spend much time on this. Uh, next slide. So here is the C prime uh, big picture. Uh, if we read it from top to bottom, left to right, um, we start out with Confluence, which can uh, be used for a multitude of different things, but the uh, main goal here is to capture the big love or the big ticket items uh, where we work through our ideation process, figure out what we're going to do, um, and we maintain the long term uh, documentation through Confluence. It also links over to JIRA where the execution of our strategy is performed. Uh, in here, we're representing each level of the hierarchy with a JIRA project that contains a different configuration for the activities that need to occur at that level in the hierarchy. Um, one of the great things about uh, using JIRA to do this is you can customize that hierarchy to be any number of levels. Safe prescribes four, uh, but we could go five, six if you really wanted to do wanted to do it. If you're not uh, practicing a large solution um, uh, safe, we can pull that piece out and there is no impact to the architecture and your 
um, able to add it in um, as your organization matures. So the architecture is very flexible. Uh, next question or next slide, please. So here we have uh, the key functionality uh, broken out across the uh, hierarchy. And here we show the processes used, the add-ons that are used to support the ceremonies or the activities being performed at those levels. Uh, and notice how structure and agile hive on the right side here uh, touch all the layers. So these are two very important or key add-ons for visual visualizing the data, providing visibility and reporting. Next slide, please. Uh, so many of you out there who are current JIRA users are familiar with a uh, issue where the highest level in JIRA is called an EPIC. That is not how SAFE is set up. So at C Prime, we've created a add-on called the SAFE EPIC Feature Translator, which will allow you to rename that JIRA EPIC to a feature or whatever namespace you want to use and reuse that EPIC name elsewhere in the hierarchy. So this shows an example of our uh, typical SAFE hierarchy, and you can see how EPIC is now renamed to feature, so we can adhere to that SAFE hierarchy. Next slide. Uh, here's a quick overview of some of the major capabilities uh, that are provided by additional add-ons. So as most of you who are JIRA users are familiar, that JIRA out of the box does very well at the team layer, but when you need additional capabilities, uh, you got to look to the marketplace uh, to get some add-ons uh, to enable those capabilities. So like I talked about, uh, well, Epic and Feature Management use uh, JIRA boards. Uh, planning and forecasting, so that's JIRA portfolio, um, also provides the hierarchy and enforcement of the hierarchy. Uh, scenario analysis is also portfolio for JIRA. Um, those of you who have tried to do uh, big room planning, PI planning, uh, and create the big program. But the two we look to right now are Big Picture Enterprise or Easy Agile programs. Uh, like I talked about in the previous slide, we have uh, Structure and Agile Hive for reporting and visualization. And then finally, uh, the Swiss Army knife of all JIRA add ons is Power Scripts and the Power Suite of add ons. This provides uh, organizations the capabilities to pretty much do anything they can dream of. So automations, integrations, customizations, you name it, uh, it can probably be done with Power Scripts. Next slide, please. And then finally, to tie it all together and uh, allow an organization to scale into the future, uh, not only users, uh, but capabilities, uh, features, everything that you're gonna do to support your organization, a proper governance strategy must be in place. So uh, you just wanna control how JIRA is being used you want to tie it directly to the process. That way, as the process changes, your tools change. As the tool change, your processes change, and everybody's in lockstep and allows your organization to be successful um, and parallel both those areas going forward. Uh, next slide. That's it. I'm going to turn it over to you. Sweetie. Sweet. Thanks, Matt. Um, so like um, Dan had just said, you can just go ahead and go to the next slide, Dan. Um, Jira Line, uh, formerly Agilecraft, was recently purchased by Atlassian in April of this year. Um, they did change the name to Jira Line. You know, it is inspired by the alignment, flow, and connection, um, all inherent to the, to the products. Um, it is built from the top down to support Agile at scale. Um, it really helps align organizations around common goals and objectives while providing actionable view and metrics to everyone touching within the product technology product lifecycle. Um, next slide, please, Dan. Um, so what is it? It's a scaled Agile management platform. And what that does, it creates this ecosystem that allows you to manage, execute, and understand where all your work is cycling through. Um, it does sit on top of team tools. So whether your different development teams are using a multitude of tools from JIRA to TFS um, to really a kind of large scale, uh, large amount of them, um, you can aggregate all that data within. So you again have that aligned visibility throughout your organization. Um, next slide, please, Dan. Um, it does support multiple frameworks. So whether you're practicing safe, um, four or five levels, less dad, um, Joe Schmo's next door, new scaling framework, um, it will be able to support those at five different levels. Um, really, again, just creating that golden thread of hierarchy between all those different um, hierarchical levels so that you can see and connect all the work between them. Next slide, please, Dan. 
So the key benefits of JiraLine, as Dan slides to the next page, um, are really going to be how it brings together visibility. You know, it's going to allow the optimized. Um, there we go. Um, it's going to allow you to be able to deliver rapidly because you have the visibility now to shorten your cycles. You have the consistency so that your enterprise uh, folks are working on the same language within your dev teams. Um, you know, being able to become more predictable so you can see and adjust to market changes very quickly. Um, all those things are going to become important, and this is how JiraLine can help. Let's go ahead and go to the next slide. I want to talk about some of the key features within JiraLine. It is a very robust tool, um, so I'm just going to call out a couple of the main features that I think people really get. Um, excited about when they see. Uh, the program room is one of the central command centers of Jira Online. This is where you can really create all your PI planning. So as you can see there, there's a program and planning checklist. As new um, release train engineers and coaches start coming on board, this checklist is going to help them align within the organization to be able to do that. Um, you know, you can run your agile meetings directly from these rooms. Um, you can see your entire runway so that you can ensure sufficient planning. Um, go ahead and click the next slide. You can also, you know, create your epics and features directly from within this tool. Um, you also always have a stat status of where your um, work is tracking as well. So really kind of giving you end-to-end -end PI planning and execution progress. So the program board, uh, this is where, you know, you're really um, understand the agreements between your project man management and dev teams. You can understand what's going on in the program increments. You can quickly see um, the status of everything as well as dependencies, any planning issues that you have. Um, really gives you some powerful views to be working in. Next slide. And program increment progress, we all know why this is important. You know, as it, the name indicates, this is going to be where you're able, able to see the program increment progress from burn downs, burn ups, as well as being able to drill into individual programs and as well as the team level getting those same drill down metrics that you need. Um, go ahead and go to the next slide. So the work tree, this is, you know, similar to structure within the Safe and Jira uh, solution that Matt just spoke about, but it's really giving you a way to not only see strategy top down from the Epic, but you can see bottoms up from the teams and above. So really, again, just giving you overall status reports as well as with some financials and other um, um, health statuses within it. Um, well, dependency maps, you know, obviously there's very important, there's about seven different dependency maps within Jira line allows, allowing you to see between programs, portfolio, dependencies between programs, portfolios, and even the team level, uh, making sure that everyone's aligned and on the same page and there are no main blockers. Um, this is just a different view of it to be able to see interdependencies between teams and how they are tracking. Uh, let's go ahead and go to status reports. Um, again, this is more at the enter enterprise levels, uh, giving the ability to track financials at each of your portfolio or program levels, even if you're ma managing them via, via multiple themes. You can obviously have a very good view of your budget estimates and actuals and being able to adjust and create those lean spending accounts very easily. Um, the status view also can give you just a health indicators, how you're tracking how you're tracking. So not only on budget, but also on time. Um, again, just giving you that overall enterprise level across your multiple portfolios. Um, and lastly, I want to talk about the Agile assessments. You know, as a lot of us are working with different organizations, we want to know how the Agile is, adopt how the adoption is going. Um, being able to customize these is really going to empower coaches to be able to track and show the, pr show the proof of how those Agile adoptions are going. Um, so these become very, um, important during transformations. And with that, that is all. Thanks. Brian, you told us we had 15 minutes. I think we did it in 14 and change. Ooh. You all nailed it. Thank you.